In a recent interview, leading Bitcoin on-chain analyst Willy Wu talks about the lengthening Bitcoin cycle, his price prediction for next year, and how the current market situation has changed his method of data analysis. In the interview, Willy Wu shares his beliefs that Bitcoin will surpass the current all-time high of $69,000 and hit $100,000 or more in 2022. The analyst also predicts that the previous four-year having cycle tradition has died. In its place, Willy Wu believes Bitcoin cycles will be around 10 years, which is similar to what is available for traditional investment assets. Welcome to Savvy Finance. This video examines Willy Wu's thoughts on maturing markets and lengthening Bitcoin cycles, his prediction for 2022, and why the flagship cryptocurrency did not hit the marks this year. Willy Wu also talks about the shape that data analysis will take now that previous parameters have proven to be unsuccessful. Ensure you watch the video to the end, click the like button, and subscribe to the channel. In his interview, Willy Wu explains that we are now experiencing a mature Bitcoin market devoid of crazy returns and fast-moving upswings. Though the process has been a gradual one for the flagship cryptocurrency, Willy Wu believes that Bitcoin is now in a position where it is more stable with lower returns. This has attracted more institutional players who ironically contributed largely to the situation of the market. Willy Wu explains that the high net worth individuals that are now populating the market held off because of the previous high-level volatility of the digital asset. Unlike retail investors, these bigger players invest hundreds of millions of dollars and cannot afford to be caught in an 80% downturn. There was also the issue of unquantifiable risks. No one knew if government regulations would stamp out Bitcoin or if hackers would wipe out investors' money. But now Bitcoin has survived the test. It has survived for over a decade and proven itself as a valuable asset. So, naturally, bigger investors, including a nation state, are gravitating towards the pull. As this thing matures, I think I agree. It's like, it becomes more attractive. And I mean, even Marcus Saylor said that, um, that like, it reached the, the, the high net worth want to buy the top. Like, but they don't want to buy Bitcoin when it's like a $4 billion asset class. They want to buy it when it's above $1 trillion because it's sufficiently de-risked. Whereas we want just want to buy low. <laughs> right? Yeah, we want to buy it at one dollar, right? But um, these guys are very sophisticated around risk. Um, and you know, honestly, if you bought Bitcoin at one dollar, the risk was unquantifiable. Um, really, there was no way to quantify that risk. Um, you could do it numerically, like wow, that's the volatility of my returns is really like off the charts. But you know, like. The risk that you can't quantify, quantify is, will this thing not be hacked? Um, will the government stamp it out? Um, you know, all sorts of stuff you can't even think of. Like, um, it's very hard to quantify. So um, it's it's getting into that region where, you know, if you look at El Salvador coming on board, it's obviously being sufficiently de-risked for a nation state now. It's had 12 mm -hmm. years or maybe 13 years. It hasn't been hacked, the protocol runs, so that's good. <laughs> um, volatility is sufficiently low for, um, you know, a nation state to now adopt it. Uh, still pretty high, but like the upside is, is good. When asked about his prediction for 2022, the on-chain analyst explains that his model shows an upper bound price of over $200,000 for Bitcoin. The figure had been much higher earlier in the year, measuring between $200,000 and $400,000. Willy Wu adds that prices can soar to the region of the upper bounds if there is a mania phase, which did not happen this year. On lengthening cycles, Willy Wu believes that the current market situation might not be about lengthening cycles but the weight of the heavier investors leading to bigger momentum and longer time frames. According to the analysts, the activities of these investors have ended the reign of the four-year halving cycles. Now we can expect bull and bear runs to go bigger and last for longer periods. That's so what do you think about next year then? Like. And has this changed the way you analyze the data? Like, yeah, are you having like to everything. rethink everything? Everything changes. Um, like, you know, on that topic, what the top is, like, currently the model says 215, right? But that's not, we're going to be at that price. It's that, um, that's the upper bound price for Bitcoin using this model. And um, that you only get that on a runaway um, parabolic mania phase top, which we never got. And really, I don't think we'll get that again. So I don't think, like, if we, like, this is, the prediction was, if we have a mania phase, it will hit the upper bound, because that's what all the mania phases are hit. And um, the upper bound currently, earlier this year, it was, it was tracking. You didn't know what it would end up at, but it was tracking it between 200,000 and 400,000. And now, now we're into December, and it's, 
$216,000 right now. Um, that's the upper bound, um, but we haven't had the mania. So like we're actually right in the middle of the zone between the bottom and the top. And um, it's very cool right now. Um, but um, having said that, to answer your question going into next year, it's um, I think it one thing we're gonna learn um, is that the four year cycles are dead. Um, and then we'll probably have to decide whether it's lengthening cycles, which I don't think. Um, lengthening cycle, by the way, is like this idea that there's more and more weight in the system. So these oscillations of bull, bear start to be, you know, bigger momentum and longer time frames. Willie Wu believes that future Bitcoin cycles can be as long as 10 years, similar to what happens with traditional investment assets. However, this new cycle life might not be as clear cut as previous ones. There are still going to be notable activities around the four year having cycles. Willie Wu also believes that the coin's supply and demand will continue to influence prices in the background, creating small wavelets that last for six to eight months. So everything will sort of overlap as the market continues to broaden and deepen. We, we have a four-year gravity um, orbit around the halvening. Um, so that's the mining infrastructure. Um, so that's like one wave every four years. And then we have a macro cycle correlation which is to traditional assets, which are like, we have bull bear markets every what? Um, is it 10 years or so? Mm -hmm. Roughly, it's kind of random. It could be up to 14 years. Um, so that's another great a wave of, uh, that's another sort of wave of a, like a decade long cycle. And that's getting a gravity pull to the correlation to traditional assets. And then you have, um, you know, basic demand and supply of, you know, the, the um, like we had earlier this year where there's a lot of FOMO and then that cooled off and all of that FOMO and then cooled off has its own cycle within our industry which creates a, a wave of demand and supply and um, that's different so you have all these different waves on top of each other and so I think that um, the, the main one is the, the halvening and the other big one is correlation to traditional assets so we're um, about to escape the gravity of um, the halvening and we're going to enter a new orbit around traditional assets. Um, and that and that is like a decade long cycle. And so it's binary. I think it's it's binary. And we go from four years to a correlated asset to um, traditional and we have little wavelets, which are our internal um, sort of infrastructure, um, like, pulses which are like looking at this it looks like every six six or eight months that's happening right now um so yeah i think it's like binary we go from four years to ten years and Damn. little wavelets on top of that because of the changing market dynamics willie Wu believes there will also be a change in the way he analyses data to arrive at price predictions the on-chain analyst explains that things have progressed beyond on-chain analysis now, Bitcoin analysts have to consider the activities of ETF price movements of corporate treasuries and the activities of individual investors. Now, I really much rely on um, on-chain demand and supply um, and that, you know, I work with Glassnode and they do a lot around um, this thing called liquid supply. And um, that's a lot harder to fool as the whole ecosystem changes because this is looking down into effectively the forensic history of um, investors and you can actually you know say this guy's a hodler this guy's a trader this guy's um, sort of a medium-term swing trader um, and you can classify not you, you look at the address spaces but we're not looking at addresses we're then figuring out those addresses mean one individual investor based on the paths of transactions between it and we're looking at individual investors as cohorts to go, okay, this is this is like the Michael Saylor guy, he's just stacking. And so if that guy that's stacking, very seldom sells, starts to unload his coins, we're in trouble. Uh -huh. You know, so you know, and this cohort is like they they'll buy, they'll sell, they'll swing traders over a certain period of time. And these guys are pure speculators. Um that that they, they, they zero out all the time. So that kind of stuff becomes um much more useful like and it's kind of a cat mouse game because so much of the blockchain has changed willie Wu's prediction for 2022 in his interview willie Wu also talks about his prediction for bitcoin in 2022 the on-chain analyst is very convinced that we will see another all-time high next year he states that he sees a middle line of around one hundred thousand dollars 
Prices could go higher or lower, but once Bitcoin breaks its all-time high of 69,000, it would be pretty easy for it to hit six figures. So next year, do you think we go all-time highs? Do you think we go sideways? Do you think we maybe bear market down a bit? Like, I, I know it's oh, so hard to tell. It depends on I so mean, many different things. Like, of course we go all-time high because, like, yes. unless, uh, yeah, unless Bitcoin fails, right? All-time high is 69,000. Um, <laughs> I got to chuckle it there, but it's sixty nine thousand, right? It's uh, we, we, we got to break. Yeah, we could, we got to break hundred k next year. If we break um, the all time high properly, um, we run through the fibs, and you know, let's face it, sixty nine to hundred thousand is nothing, right? It's only like a fifty percent gain for Bitcoin, which it does quite regularly. And I would say we will be like the right in the middle of it. It's like a hundred thousand dollars by the end of, um, no wait. Yeah. I don't know. It's about a hundred thousand dollars by the end of next year. And whether we whip up or down, yeah, it could go much higher and it could come back. And, but the, roughly the middle line is somewhere around a hundred thousand, just eyeballing it. From Willy Woo's statements, we can see there is still much more to expect from Bitcoin and many other digital assets. However, the market is changing drastically. All retail investors have to work twice as hard to stay ahead of the situation and make informed investment decisions. But one fact that remains unchanged is that buying Bitcoin is a great investment choice. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.